Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on Angelic tablets. So Angelic tablets contain two active ingredients, estradiol and drosperinone. These are forms of the main female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Estradiol is a naturally occurring form of estrogen and drospirinone is a synthetic form of progesterone. So what is Angelic used for? It's used for hormone replacement therapy to relieve symptoms of the menopause. There's a second line treatment option for preventing osteoporosis in postmenopausal women who are at risk of fractures and cannot take other medicines licensed for preventing osteoporosis. So how does Angelic work? Estradiol is a naturally occurring form of estrogen and drosperinone is a synthetic form of progesterone. Women's ovaries gradually produce less and less estrogen in the period up to the menopause and estrogen blood levels decline as a result. The declining levels of estrogen can cause distressing symptoms such as irregular periods, hot flushes, night sweats, mood swings and vaginal dryness or itching. Estrogen in this case in the form of estradiol, can be given as a supplement to replace the falling levels in the body and help reduce these distressing symptoms of the menopause. This is known as hormone replacement therapy. HRT is usually only required for short-term relief from menopausal symptoms and its use should be reviewed at least once a year with your doctor. A progesterone, in this case in the form of drospirinone, is needed as part of HRT for women who have not had a hysterectomy. This is because in women with an intact womb, estrogen stimulates the growth of the womb lining, or endometrium, which can lead to endometrial cancer if the growth is unopposed. A progesterogen is given to oppose estrogen's effect on the womb lining. This reduces the risk of cancer, though it does not eliminate this risk entirely. This is known as a combined HRT. Angelic is a continuous form of combined HRT. Each tablet contains both estradiol and dosperinone, so that a dose of both hormones is taken daily. This type of HRT does not produce a monthly bleed and so is more suitable for women whose periods have already stopped. For example, postmenopausal women who have not had a period for at least 12 months. HRT is also sometimes used to prevent osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. The declining level of estrogen at menopause can affect the bones, causing them to become thinner and more prone to breaking. So estrogen supplements help prevent bone loss and fractures that may occur in women in the years after the menopause. So how do you take angelic tablets? One angelic tablet should be taken once a day on a continuous basis with no breaks between packs. Your need for continued HRT should be reviewed with your doctor at least once a year, as I said. The tablet should be swallowed whole with a drink. They can be taken either with or without food. Your tablet should be taken at around the same time each day. This will help you remember to take it. If you forget to, forget to take a dose at your usual time, you should take it as soon as you remember, unless it is nearly time for your next dose. In this case, you just leave out the forgotten dose and take your next dose as usual at your usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for an earlier missed dose. Stop taking this medicine and inform your doctor immediately if you experience any of the following symptoms. Stabbing pains or swelling in one leg, pain or breathing or coughing, coughing up blood, breathlessness, sudden chest pain, sudden numbness affecting one side or part of the body, fainting or worsening of epilepsy, migraine or severe headaches, visual disturbance, severe abdominal complaints, increased blood pressure, itching of the whole body, yellowing of the skin or eyes, or severe depression. A woman is considered fertile for two years after her last menstrual period if she is under 50, or for one year if she is over 50. HRT does not provide contraception for women who fall within this group. If a potentially fertile woman is taking HRT but also requires contraception, a non-hormonal method, for example condoms, should be used. Angelic should not be used by women with known or suspected or a past history of breast cancer. Women with known or suspected cancer in which growth of the cancer is stimulated by estrogen. For example, cancer of the lining of the womb or endometrial cancer. Women with untreated overgrowth of the lining of the womb, which is endometrial hyperplasia, 
of women with vaginal bleeding where the cause is not known. Women with blood disorders that increase the risk of blood clots in the veins. For example, antiphospholipid syndrome, protein C deficiency, protein S deficiency, or antitrombone deficiency. Also women with a blood clot in the vein of the leg or in the lungs, which is a pulmonary embolism. Women with inflammation of a vein caused by a blood clot. Women who have recently had a stroke caused by a blood clot. Women who have recently had a heart attack. Women with angina pectoris. Women with active liver disease, for example, hepatitis or liver cancer, or a history of liver disease when liver function was not returned to normal. Women with severely decreased kidney function or kidney failure. Women with inherited blood disorders called porphyrias. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Women with rare hereditary problems of galactose intolerance, LAP, lactose deficiency or glucose, galactose malabsorption, as the angelic tablets contain lactose. So for pregnancy and breastfeeding, this medicine should not be used by women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. You should stop taking this medicine and consult your doctor immediately if you think you could be pregnant during treatment. So the possible side effects of an angelic, breast pain, tenderness or enlargement, gut disturbances such as nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, bloating, flatulence, indigestion, menstrual bleeding or spotting, headache or migraine, vaginal thrush, increase in the size of uterine fibroids, fluid retention causing swelling, which is oedema, premenstrual-like symptoms, depression, anxiety, irritability or mood changes, changes in sex drive, fatigue, dizziness, weight changes, leg cramps, rise in blood pressure, steepening corneal curvature which may make contact lenses uncomfortable, skin reactions such as rash and itching, irregular brown patches on the skin, usually of the face, disturbance in liver function and jaundice, gallbladder disease, inflammation of the pancreas, blood clots in the blood veins, raised level of potassium in the blood. So how can angelic affect other medicines? The following medicines may potentially reduce the blood level and effect of this medicine which could cause irregular menstrual bleeding or your symptoms to come back. They'd be apropotent, bosentin, barbiturates, carbamazepine, debrafenid, efferivans, phosperipant, phosphenitoin, modafinil, nevirapine, oxycarbazepine, phenobarbital, phenytoin, ritinavar, teliprevir, and the herbal remedy St. John's wort. Topiramate. So this medicine may increase the blood levels of the following medicines, and this could possibly increase the risk of their side effects. Aminophylline, ropinirole, selagiline, theophylline, tizanidine. In some people, usually those with kidney problems or diabetes, drospirinone may cause an increase in the amount of potassium in your blood. There may be an increased risk of this if angelic is taken in combination with any of the following, which can also cause a rise in blood potassium levels. So they'd be ACE inhibitors, the angiotensin II antagonists, so they'd be losartan or valsartan, cyclosporin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, diclofenic, the potassium salts, for example, potassium citrate for cystitis, and potassium-containing salt substitutes, e.g. low salt. So potassium-sparing diuretics, which would be amylaride or spironolactone, and potassium supplements. So if you're taking any of these, you should have a blood test during your first month of treatment with Angelic to check your blood potassium level has not risen, particularly if you also have any kidney problems. So if you have any other questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.